Welcome. In this introduction video, we are going to discuss Microsoft 365 Fundamentals MS 900 Partner Content course that is available to our light and premium members. First, why do we call this partner content? Most of the video content will be coming from our partner and JSS team will strategically enhance this course based on our own skill set. So this is a combination of two platforms making this course uniquely designed for our members. Who should take this course? Now, let's go to the indeed.com and just search for Microsoft Office 365. And even if you search for job titles, most of the jobs will have some sort of Microsoft Office 365 requirement. So one, if you're already working in IT as a help desk, IT support, systems administrator, if a company is using Microsoft Office 365, one way or another, you're going to be involved either at the very basic level where you're working on licenses, adding users, resetting their passwords, emails, or actually doing something more at the administrator level where you are the sysadmin, but you're still involved in Microsoft Office 365 at the little more advanced level. So one is that you are already working a normal IT job and you are being given this because the company have already chosen this as a, uh, as a, technology for their for their users and now you're just going to work on it second is microsoft office 365 administration actually comes with its own jobs now so it's pretty well paid and you want to become a microsoft 365 administrator office 365 administrator and if you go into this field you can become a sharepoint administrator you can become a teams administrator and that is a different route so you could totally uh, basically change your career not go into a classic IT where you'd need to know about, a lot about networking and servers. And so if you get into this, you may be just working in a company as a SharePoint administrator, which is all cloud-based, meaning you're going to go online on a web-based system and you're doing everything on, uh, inside the browser, but you still need to know a lot to become that individual. So two targets. For both, you still need to know how to get started. And this course it can get you that starting point. And once you start it and finish all of this, you're going to have a pretty good solid understanding on how Microsoft Office 365 works at the administrative level. So this is going to give you that sort of skill set. And then after that, of course, we're going to have another course, which is going to be a little more advanced than this one. And we will keep continue to uh, add to it because we want to enhance this for people who just want to become a Microsoft 365 administrator and take this as a career. Important information in this course, we do not provide any practice labs or um, access because it's a subscription based access. So you will need to use your trial accounts that Microsoft Office, um, you can actually get a full 90 days uh, from Microsoft and you don't need to use your credit card at this point, but this can change anytime. We will show you how to get your own account and you can use that account. So whatever you're learning from these videos, you can go back and replicate it. And most of the time, like I mentioned in cloud-based courses, things change very fast because it's a cloud-based. They, they can change it anytime. So yes, documentation is going to be the proper way for you to go back and learn things. But if you go through these videos, it will give you a pretty good understanding with some demos, uh, break the, breaking that ice uh, and that mindset for you to just get into this. And then of course, once you know how to read documentation, how to follow documentation, then you're going to use your access and then use that trial 90 days to, uh, trial to actually finish it in those 90 days it's really easy to do it if you commit your time to it if those 90 days are over then you should go with a pay-as-you-go service or maybe a subscription for a little bit from microsoft and then you can still use it but you'll have to pay for that uh directly to the microsoft so in next video i'm going to show you how to get a, a developer uh, access uh, and that's what they call it a developer access for 90 days and that gives you a lot of access you can almost do everything that that the, uh, you are going to see in these videos um, and then uh, you can just kind of follow that step by step to replicate things all right so let's go ahead and get the 90 days access where we can have the access and when you go through these videos and wherever instructor is showing something practical then you can play around now again I am going to remind you that even if this video is done, let's say six months ago, 
there could be a lot of changes done by Microsoft because it's cloud and things change fast. So where do you go? You go back to Microsoft documentation and then figuring things out is going to be your best route for cloud-based courses. And that's the best way you're going to learn the, the new way of learning when things are cloud-based because it's going to change. You have to follow their documentation quickly. So let's go to Google. In your Google type developer program and you don't have to do the pipe and you can do Microsoft 365. Click on the first link. It says developer program, Microsoft 365 Dev Center. Let's go ahead and click on it. And then it tells you right here, get an instant sandbox pre-configured with sample data, including teams, developer portal, and many more things are available here. So let's go ahead and click on join now. So here you can use your Microsoft account if you have one. If you don't, then you can create a new one. I don't have a Microsoft account, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new, a brand new account. So I'm going to click on create. And whatever you do here, just make sure you remember this account. As you can see, it's going to ask you, do you want to do this Outlook.com or Hotmail.com? So I would prefer Outlook.com. So here you can name whatever you want to name and then click next. Go ahead and put the password. Make sure you remember this password. All right, so I copied my email just because I don't want to forget my email and the password somewhere safe. And I'm going to click on next. Now, this information, you can put it here. Then it's going to test you for some sort of, uh, you know, you're not a robot. So, you know, where the finger is right now, it's like this. I right? match this angle, which is telling you that if the angle is this way, then you need to move your thing towards that. So let's go ahead and submit this. So here, uh, as soon as you do that, you're going to get to this page. Then this is where you're going to create your account for a uh, sandbox account. So one is that you already have one account created for Microsoft, which is this one. Keep it safe. Uh, keep it safe somewhere. And now it's going to make you create a sandbox account. So this is important that you should have this information saved somewhere and put this information as well. All right, we're going to click next. This is going to ask you for this information. I'm just going to do personal projects and click next here. And it says, what area of Microsoft development are you interested in? So of course we are interested in Outlook. You can just keep it that way. Microsoft identity platform. You can keep that way as well. Microsoft teams and we'll just click save here. So then you're going to get this uh, message. Do you want to choose this instant sandbox, which basically what it does, it creates like, you know, pre-configured things for you already or configure your own sandbox from scratch. You know, if you're learning something from scratch, I would say just configure it from scratch. Let's just not do the whole thing. Now it's telling you right here, this is important information right here where it says my tenant information, uh, renewable, this is renewable actually, it expires on January 5th, a lot of time, you got a lot of time and you can renew it as well. And you get this many users to play around with and all you gotta do is to click next here now. It's going to make you create username and password. Now, this is an important one. You cannot forget this one. So make sure you keep this somewhere safe. So I'm going to create an admin user, create a domain here. So you could pre create something like JSS student or whatever, you know, or make a number. Because if you create a normal one, of course, somebody have already taken that. So you could create like some number with that. And then you see how it's going to work then. Just remember this. I know it's a lot of long text, but you have to remember these things. So then it's going to make you create a password. This, all of this information, you just make sure you, you have this somewhere saved. Okay. Okay. Now this is the important part. You have to use your own phone number. If you don't have the phone number, ask your friend to help you out or somebody, but you just can't uh, get away from this one uh, unless you have some other technique to, uh, you know, bypass this, but you need the SMS code. This is where a lot of people will get stuck. So you need to use your phone number, use that, and then get the code and then you're good to go. All right, so once you put your phone number and then add the code, then that's it, you're done. You have the full subscription for 92 days right now. And you can basically uh, copy this information as well, but if you are already copied it, it should be in your uh, you know, document. So this is our domain, everything is right here. And let's go to the subscription now. And you see it's asking us for the username and the password. I already saved it. I'm going to go ahead and sign in and I'm going to say yes to that so that it's always don't ask me again and again. So now you have a full Microsoft Office 365 access. And while you're watching these courses, you can really come over here and do these uh, different type of skills 
on a brand new Microsoft Office 365 subscription. And in most cases, you're going to come here, you're going to go to admin and you're going to click on admin here. Then you will learn about the users here, different type of billing, setup, show all. Uh, then there's security, endpoint manager, exchange. Uh, there are a lot of things that you can access. And keep in mind, in the first course, it's fundamentals. So it's going to be a lot of lectures. You can still go back to the, the practical access that you have to play around with the things. For example, you go to the chapter two and you uh, learn a lot about the licensing, which is going to be a lot of talking about different type of license in this video. So, of course, once you learn about what the licenses are, the subscri subscriptions are, you can make it more practical. You can go back to your practical access that you have now and you should go back to the users and then play around with the licenses here. Like just go to the users and then create a user. And uh, well, for example, this is the first user that you already have. You can add a new user here. And this way, at least you're getting to that point where you're making it more practical for yourself. In, but the first course is going to have a lot of uh, theoretical information. And that's very important. You can't just skip things and go to the practical side because most of this you just need to know because this is an application somebody have just given you access to the website where you're going to do a lot of things so you need to understand what this is actually so if you want to get a little more practical of course you go through all this course try to see whatever you can make it more uh, you know practical for yourself you try that but then after this you can just go to the another course which is called microsoft 365 administrator now this course may have a little more a practical side to to do things that you can can kind of like you know go over again so the first course uh when you go and finish it you're gonna see some repetitiveness in the ms 102 but this has more um you know actions in there so for example if you come over here create a manage users group so if i click on it right now uh, let's go and kind of move forward with this video and when you come over here you see how the instructor is doing some practical stuff and it's the same thing that you have on the right side you see the microsoft and he's working on this active users right here and working on these different type of users you can come over here again on your uh, portal and do some similar type of actions and even in this course they will tell you to go back to the documentation and use the documentation approach to learn more on top of what they're teaching and of course in jss we also create custom based projects and and we will with time to time we are going to add more material to this course so you can utilize your practical access as well uh, and we already have a lot of videos you can go to uh, our uh, you know of uh, job skills share youtube and just type office 365 you're going to find a bunch of videos where you have covered most of these things uh, in a very nice way but of course things are changing those those videos could be a little older so we're going to make new videos on this as well so this is how you're going to use your access to replicate some of the skills from the video course